Marcelo Lippi is eager for a reacquaintance with Ryan Giggs when China host Wales but the veteran manager insists he does not need to offer any advice to his younger adversary because Sir Alex Ferguson set the best possible example. Giggs scored four times against Lippi's Juventus across eight Champions League ties including at Old Trafford in the famous 1999 semi-final and a wonderful solo strike in Turin in 2003, and finds himself up against the 69-year-old in his first match as Wales manager. Lippi is in charge of the host nation in the China Cup and backed Giggs to have a successful career in the dugout now he has hung up his playing boots. I want to meet Ryan Giggs because I remember when I was manager of Juventus at the end of 90s we played many matches during the Champions League, Lippi said. It was Juventus against Man United so many times. He was an extraordinary player, very strong, I really like him. I hope he will become a very good coach as well, I wish him all the best. I don't feel I need to give him any advice, he had the best coach in Sir Alex Ferguson. He just needs to do what he learned from him. Giggs, 44, took his debut training session as manager on Tuesday and will pick his first side for Thursday's match at the Guangxi Sports. Sent in Nanning. Wales are ranked 20th in the world and are expected to beat China, placed 65th to progress to Monday's final against either Uruguay or Czech Republic. But Lippi said his side have made strides. In the last one year and a half, our team had very good results. We have improved a lot. When we play Colombia, Serbia, Wales, there is still big difference in quality, but I can say now in China there is a very big movement in football. Things are changing. I think this difference will be less and less in time. Meanwhile Chris Gunter has revealed Wales players were the last to know about Chris Coleman's shock decision to quit as national manager to take over at Sunderland. But, Gunter insisted that having Giggs as Coleman's successor did not need to be sold to any of the players and he is excited at the prospect of working under the new boss. At that time everybody wanted the manager to stay, he was a massive part of Welsh history, said Gunter of Coleman. Whenever you change or lose a manager you are disappointed especially in this case because everybody loved playing under him. Some of that was made out that there was a group of players who were knocking his hotel door and begging him to stay. It wasn't quite like that because players don't really have an influence on what happens above. I think we were the last to know what was going on. Footballers are very good, once decisions are made, of buying into where you are and who's in charge. But in this case the name Ryan Giggs doesn't need to be sold to any of the players. We're all at an age where we would have watched him as a player and know what he was like and what he brings. In this instance it spoke for itself and that's why there's a genuine excitement of what's to come in future. Gunter will surpass Gary Speed's record for Wales caps as an outfield player by collecting his 86th against China. Only Neville Southall on 92 is ahead of him.